how to cartoon yourself that means turning your picture from this to this now there are two ways to do that one is using an android phone or tablet and the second one is using a pc today we are learning how to make this in photoshop we don't even need any graphics tablet because we have this let's get started so now here we are at photoshop click ctrl plus n for new project and click on photo now select pixels here and height and width 3600 into 3600 pixels when it's done click create now click and drag the photo you want and you can adjust it by dragging it from the sides You can click enter when it's all done. And I think that's perfect. Now take another layer. First of all, rename this layer. Let's name it reference. Now take an empty layer, go to brush and uh, the size should be 9 to 10 pixels. Now click here, go to shape dynamics and select pen pressure here now let's move to pen tool and lower the opacity of reference so where to start I think we should start from here click and drag you can delete the anchor point by shift and alt now when it's done right click here and stroke path remember to check simulate pressure now click enter and you can see this is complete now using the same method we are making more strokes and completing the whole picture
now using the shape from above you can now make shape instead of path I've completed the hair same way but by god that was so tiring okay let's move ahead now the hairs are complete merge these layer by clicking control plus e and now name it line art now i'm going to choose a medium color an average color little lighting up and now start making shape you have to cover all the skin area by clicking control plus enter command you can make a selected area from the path and using a gradient tool i am making this shadow effect and now the skin tone is complete now i am selecting the boundaries of his clothes because i love the texture of it and i don't want a solid color here after selecting it by controlling control j you can move that to another layer and just make some changes and use some filters i am making some more shadow here Now let's make a mic. Color the mic. I'm using a concept brush here. And again using the gradient tool. And now finally our artwork is complete. You can save it by clicking control alt shift and s. Now if you don't have time for making this and uh, you want an artwork like this, you can contact me. You can DM me on Instagram. You can see I have some experience in this artwork. Okay, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Mm-hmm.